Okay, Dad, we're talking about how you got recruited by AT&T right. at Purdue. Tell us how that happened and why you chose AT&T. Uh, Purdue had, during the last year, uh, they had companies who come to recruit on campus for engineer candidates. And uh, people like GE, uh, uh, Square D Electric, Westinghouse, uh, IBM, and so forth. And uh, I got uh, recruited, I got reviewed or interviewed by AT&T, Westinghouse, General Electric, Square D, IBM, and offers from all of them, which are very good. And I chose AT&T because they, uh, they had what they called a student engineer program, and they moved you around to different functions, uh, departmental functions, so you learn all of the functions of the business. And uh, uh, hopefully, after assignments and them, you, you would work your way up in management. Um, and then you, uh, what was your first job with AT&T when you went there? A student engineer in Hartford, Connecticut. Student engineer. And were you designing No, I so was out maintaining microwave stations. It was the first microwave station route between Boston and uh, New York City. And uh, in the evening, on night shift, we had to go out and uh, tune up the transmitters and receivers and maintain wow. the batteries and so forth. Wow. Did you ever uh, climb telephone poles? Oh, yeah. Had to do that your first year. Huh. So then what, after that job, what was your next job at the company? Uh, then I went, was sent to uh, East Haven, New Haven, uh, to work in the district office of the area engineering uh, company that uh, division that we're in, and then to New York City. Right. And so eventually you were being groomed for management. Correct. And did they send you to the Sloan yes. Fellowship? How did that happen? Did oh. you have to interview and oh, yeah. all that? Yeah. Had to have a, a big uh, write a, uh, not a thesis, but uh, why would you like to go and what do you think you'll learn? And, uh, Actually, we were working in we were working in Louisville, Kentucky at that time, and a, a man, uh, uh, the interviewer from MIT, came out, spent a couple of days with us, and uh, met the family, met Elsie, and uh, interviewed me. So, and that's how I was selected for that. How long was the Sloan Fellowship? A year. And what was the thing you you learned the most from that program, you think? Oh, the diversity from uh, half of the students were from other countries, made good friends from students from other countries and, st and other industries. In fact, Marty and Bucky, uh, George Bucky are still good friends. They, he, he ran a machine tool company in uh, Pennsylvania where they made tools, mm -hmm. they made gimlets and things like that. Uh -huh. And uh, we're still in touch. Um, so you eventually moved into management positions? Yep. And did you have different departments that you worked with? Yeah, in with? fact, I was working in the uh, the traffic department in Louisville, Kentucky, hmm. 
at that time. The traffic meaning what? Before you dial your own call, mm -hmm. you had switchboards. Yeah. And if you needed a micro long distance call, you picked up call operator. I want to make a call to so and so, and then they dialed it up and connected your call. Wow! So it was a, a job of managing people, dealing with the union, uh, do more designing more efficient processes. So it was good. Did am I right in at one time you worked with marketing or promotions or Oh yeah. And then I what was that title? Uh I got into the sales department when we were trying to move away to be more customer service and selling individual circuits. Uh, for private line use, and then uh, then I got into after MIT, uh, they were heavy on marketing. I got in that, and then ultimately in charge of advertising, and uh, developing, and then ultimately designing new offerings. In a competitive op operation. Did you have? To, were you part of like uh, ad campaigns and things like that? Oh yeah. What were some of the the best ones you worked on? The best next thing of being there. The next best thing to me. I remember that. Remember that? Yep. I remember the so, let your fingers do the walk in. I think that was yep. maybe Yellow Pages or something. I don't know if that was AT and T, but that was uh, Yellow Pages. I remember, reach out, reach out and touch someone. Right. I think that was a... No, we used a company in called N.W. Air, the advertising agent who designed those and tried to convince us to use them, mm -hmm. which we did. Good. Well, seemed to be successful. At that time. And then uh, tell us briefly how the um, the divestiture happened and why oh, AT and T split up or got into uh, a big. Uh, I was in headquarters at the time. This was uh, in the mid eighties or right. so. Uh, and uh, MCI had just been allowed to come in and get access to our circuits and resell them. Mm. And uh, they had, they did not have to document why their prices were what they were. And we did, we had to make all these sophisticated studies. And uh, so I was in charge of that for new services to be competitive which they ultimately claimed to be anti-competitive. And, uh, and that's when the government brought the lawsuit against us, mm. and which ultimately ended up uh, breaking us up. Mm. Was that, uh, in looking back, what's your feelings about that? Good and bad. Uh, all of the innovations that you see with the apps and uh, plastic telephones and and throwaway products, you know, we we never made Western that made stuff to last 50 years out of gold and silver and uh, contacts and mm. now of course everything is throwaway mm. and. Uh, What was your fondest memory of your years at AT&T? Uh, always an opportunity, of no challenge. You know, we moved a lot, and uh, but every time was always 
something new. So you're constantly learning. It's very good. And how many years with one company? 35. Wow. Are you glad you stuck with that, or would you yeah. have preferred to move around a little? Not at the time. That was uh, the, the classical way to, to uh, build a career. Whereas now, if you stick with a company for 35 years, something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> True. Interesting. There'll be a shift. <laughs>